Next up on WTV, the 2021 to 2022 calendar, this week's edition of Trivia and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Tuesday, January 19th, and I'm Michael Martin with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. For the next two weeks, we are taking the update on road in different locations around the school to prepare for our installment of 14 Days of Love. Leading off today's show, the Frisco ISD Board of Trustees have approved next school year's calendar. WTV's Kirsty Gumati has the details. The calendar for the 2021 to 2022 school year has been finalized, with the school year starting on August 12th and ending on May 20th. Similar to this year, Thanksgiving break for students will be from November 22nd to 26th, and winter break will be from December 20th to January 3rd. Spring break will be from March 7th to 11th. In addition, school start and end times for next year were also approved and will remain the same. Reporting for WTV, I'm Kirthi Gamadi. The cheer program is celebrating a school record. WTV's Kate Graham has the details. On Thursday, Liberty Cheer competed in their third statewide UIL competition and scored 11th out of 60 teams with their band chant, fight song, and cheer chant. Teams set a new record for the school and were the top school in the district. It felt pretty good placing so high out of um, 60 teams. We've never done that before. The first year we got 18th out of 60 something teams. So this year making 11th was a lot cooler. We got um, first place out of all the Frisco teams. So that felt cool to be in Frisco. It sets the feeling for the rest of the year by just showing us that all of our hard work pays off. And I think the whole experience brought our teams a lot closer together since UIL is um, varsity, JV, and freshman, so it kind of blends all the grades together. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the UIL competition brought a few changes. We prepared for UIL basically pretty normally. We were allowed to have a choreographer come into the school and help us. Um, everything was basically the same. We just had to wear our masks and be spread out during practices and things. Reporting for WTV, I'm Kate Graham. On this week's edition of Trivia, WTV's TJ Karolowitz tests students' knowledge on cars. Hello and welcome to Wingspan Trivia. I'm your host, TJ Karolowitz, and today we'll be testing students' knowledge over cars. The first question is, what is the highest selling car brand in Texas? I'm going to say Honda. Ford. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like, like, Ford, like, uh, oh. Toyota, Honda. We're gonna go Ford. Mm, Ford? You say Ford? Yeah. Is that your final answer? Uh, final answer. The second question is, what country is the car brand Corvette manufactured in? France? I'm tripping though. <laughs> Who's America? It was America? No, no, America, America, America. I'm gonna give you a hand without it being so America. All right, no, put it in America. You better put it in America. You said the brands first. No, no, put it in America. Put it in America. I'll pay you to put it in America. Germany. Germany? Yes. No. It, it's, it's foreign, right? Do you think it's foreign? America. <laughs> Paris. Paris? Wow. I don't, I don't know countries. <laughs> China. United States. The United States? Yeah. Really? Wait, Corvette. Corvette, yeah. Corvette. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah USA. And the last question, when was the first automobile invented? 1942? 1942? Or 1920 something like that. Which one is it? it was like 1813, 1803? Eight. Yes, 18. It was no. It was it 1870s? Uh, yeah. That's a little warmer. It wasn't in the 19s, was it? Was it was it 1903? 1932. 1886. Reporting for WTV, this is TJ Curlis. Soccer and basketball are hard at work. WTV's TJ Curlowitz again brings you today's Sports Minute. Boys and girls basketball ventured over the Centennial on Friday to battle the Titans. On the boys' side, the Red Hawks and Titans went neck to neck, but the Red Hawks were the team. The surge in the fourth quarter, giving them the W, 61-53. to 
The boys are now 4-6 and six in District 9-5A. On the girls' side, the Red Ox won 35-26 to even the series against the Titans on the season. With the win, the Red Ox moved to 9-3 and three in District 9-5A, passing Centennial for third place in District. Both teams will now travel to Heritage tonight to play the Coyotes. The girls will tip off at 6.30, while the boys will tip off at 8. Also, both soccer teams also battled the Titans on Friday. On the girls' side, the Red Ox gave up two goals and failed to score any, giving the Titans a 2-0 victory. On the boys' side, the Red Ox couldn't keep up with the Titans as Centennial won 3-1. Both teams will play Heritage tonight to try to get back in the win column. The girls will play at 5.30 at the Nest, while the boys will play at 7.15 at Heritage. Reporting for WTV, this is TJ Kurlowitz. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Applications for Student Council are now open. Applications are due on the 22nd, and you can sign up by scanning the QR code below. FCCLA is collecting peanut butter and jelly donations for Frisco Love Packs from January 11th through the 27th. Donations of peanut butter, jelly, and other allergy-friendly alternatives can be left in E-104 and E-105, or the box in the rotunda. Want to be on Wingspan's 14 Days of Love? Scan the QR code below. That's it for today's daily update. This is Michael Martin for Wingspan TV.